years that got here just in the nick of time. What does that make us? Big damn heroes, sir. Ain't we just? I'd like to debunk one persistent myth I hear from chemtrail conspiracy enthusiasts. They say that because they don't see persistent contrails at night, this somehow lends support to the myth that these are sprays, not contrails. Let's ride on past the absurd assumption that a chemtrail could only be used in daytime and look at the facts. Persistent contrails do form at night. They are just difficult to see for the too obvious reason that it's dark. However, when the moon is high and the weather conditions are right, they do become visible from a ground perspective. Here's a photo I managed to capture using a long exposure. The contrail is clearly visible to the left of the moon. Conditions were perfect for persistent contrails in our area. A cold front had pushed moist air mass out of the way, and that moisture, which had been causing a significant rainfall in our area, was riding up the frontal surface and saturating the higher altitudes. Persistent contrails that had been observed all evening, and once the moon was up, I was able to capture this image. So yet another bogus assertion of the chemtrail myth fails. If I'm your mission, Shepard, best give it up. You're welcome on my boat. God ain't.